Do it. Okay, today is April 22nd, 2009. We're in Eldersburg at the home of Virginia Lamb. My name is Ann Horvath, and we're and John Bershbeck is on the camera. Uh, Ms. Lamb, how long have you lived in Eldersburg? 1936. Okay. <laughs> and um, your family, can you tell me a little bit about your parents? Well, my mother was a Grimes on Old Washington Road. They had a farm on Old Washington Road. The farm's still there. My father, well, um, you know, they went from South Dakota, but other than that, I can't say too much about them until they came here. Right. You know, when they were when he was a kid. Uh huh. And then his father passed away. He left four four boys. I think he died of lung. Black lung, was it called mm -hmm. black lung? Yeah, there was In those days, called. black lung. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he passed away. How come he was born in South Dakota? I don't know where he was born. Okay. I don't know where he was born. But his mother or father, tell me about... My what grandmother was, was from Rapid City, South Dakota. Okay. And but what was your father doing there that he meant, or your grandfather there? Worked in the mines. Gold mine, I think. Uh -huh. They had a 2,200 acre ranch in Rapid City. And they sold it and come across. When he got sick, they came to Maryland. Now, whether he was from Maryland, you know, originally, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know that. Many of the Harrises were miners. Mm hmm. And you, but you think this was a gold mine? I think. I think it was a gold mine. How did he meet his wife? In a restaurant. She was a waitress or cook. In, in a, and then they came to Maryland. They came he, to Maryland. And he got sick. In a covered wagon. <laughs> With how many children? Four. Four, four, children. four boys. Four, four boys. boys, yeah. Uh -huh. Daryl, Bill, James, and Herman. Okay. <clears throat> And so then your father stayed here. He went in the Navy at 17. Okay. Okay. I do know that, uh -huh. you know. And you grew up here then in Eldersburg? I grew up in Gist. In Gist, okay. <laughs> and then the roads were mud then. Uh huh. So then we moved to Eldersburg so I wouldn't have to walk through the mud. <laughs> when did you start school? <laughs> Where did you start school? Sykesville, 36, 1936. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Was there a school in Gist? My mother went to school in the little brick schoolhouse that's still there on the corner of Bartholow and Clee Mill. Uh -huh. She went to school there. Uh -huh. They had a walk, you know, through the, uh -huh. through the mud again. <laughs> <laughs> mud. Dust. Dust, rain, yeah. snow, you know. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did your family attend one of the local churches? Years ago, Years ago. they did, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, my father never. Your father. He was, no. He was church. What kind of work did the your father church do? That they went, my, I think my mother might have went to Harmony Grove. Mm -hmm. You know that little mm -hmm. church on Cleveland, I think, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, Harmony Grove. Uh -huh. What kind of work did your father do? He was a carpenter, a painter, a wallpaper, most anything mm -hmm. he could do. Very, he was handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and where did you live here in Eldersburg then with the family? On uh, up here in the middle of Eldersburg on 26. Right on 26. Mm -hmm. Is the house still there? No, no. Uh -huh. All the houses are gone. I think there was ten there at one time. I think. What kind of? There were a lot of little homes right there. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you remember the places on the corner, the filling station? Oh, Lines' is lunchroom. The lunchroom. And there was Johnny, Ru Johnny Ruby's house. Yeah. Selby. Okay. Blaine, Nick, and Miss Ethel Selby. And then there was Bavard House, which the Conways lived there, Bill lived there. And then there was a double house, was Bavard's. Then my house, where we lived. And then Baseman, and there was a little bungalow that my father owned at one time. Uh -huh. 
Then there was a double house that my uncle Bill owned at one time, and then there was Crickler's uh -huh. on the end. Okay. Then then Dr. Lawson's house and was Dr. the Lawson's next. House. Yeah, was the next the next big house. Where did you get your groceries? Walter Frizzell store and where in was Ellisburg. that? Right in Ellisburg. Well, let's see where it is now. Where Walgreens. Okay. Walgreens. On that corner. On, on the, see, on the Conway the Garage was on where Walgreens is. Okay. And then the next door was Walter Frizzell's. <coughs> Walter Frizzell's store. Uh huh. Yeah. Those were those little houses that were real close mm -hmm. to the road. Yes. Oh, yes. When they walked right the at the front door, I just walked right on every road. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's where you got your groceries. Mm -hmm. You went to school uh -huh. though in Sexville. I think a loaf of bread was eleven cents. If I remember, I think a loaf of bread was eleven cents. And it was a quart of milk. I forget what that was. Anyway, we went there with a nickel uh -huh. and come out with five pieces of candy. <laughs> can't do that anymore. No, I can't do that. No. And then Line, well, see, Lyons' lunchroom was on the other corner first, right. and then they moved to the newer one mm -hmm. that I showed you in the mm -hmm. book here. Yeah. We'll look yeah. <clears throat> Did you go to the lunchroom often? Yes. Yes. Went to, was a nickel or a quarter or a dime. Get a true aid. <laughs> Get a true aid, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Play a jukebox, uh -huh. you know, the slot machine, you know. Uh -huh. so. so that was a place yeah, of that, entertainment yeah, for the that kids. That was our entertainment. What other kinds of things did you do as a kid? Well, we'd go to Sykesville to the movies uh -huh. on Saturday. We'd go there. But what I did when we were younger, we'd ride our bikes to Springfield. Oh. And watch the movies on Saturday up in the auditorium. Mm -hmm. Is that a, on the second floor? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had a big... Yeah. That's where we had our graduation. Uh-huh. When we graduated. Yeah. And uh, it's up on the top floor. That's... Yeah, we rode our bikes down there. Oh, uh, it's mo Western movies. Western movies, sure. I can remember doing things like that. Uh, I was a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ended up working there 35 years. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Mm -hmm. Because the patients would come and watch the movies, too. That's why it was for the patients, patients. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But the, the neighborhood came in. Yeah, we, we, they let us come in. Mm -hmm. So you worked, the, you worked at Springfield for a mm -hmm. What kind of job? I went in nursing at first, mm -hmm. and then I transferred to housekeeping. Mm -hmm. They put me on night shift, and I had, uh, Kathy was three and Robin was ten, and they put me on night shift, and I just, I just couldn't work night shift, so I transferred to housekeeping. Stayed Where there. did you meet your husband? Bass Franklin's. Mm -hmm. You heard of Bass Franklin's? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where was it? Go to Taylorsville, mm -hmm. make a left, it's still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's still there, 50 cents to get in. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was a community meeting place for the young people. Packed. Packed. The old building would rock. I mean rock. Did, it would move. It would move. Did dances? It would move. They dances there? Yeah. And they had local bands uh -huh. come in? It would move. The building would move. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Set on, you know. Yeah. Set on these big, you know. Right. Oh yeah. You get in there jumping. Outside <laughs> restroom, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah. places, the parking lot, be full of cars. Packed, packed, packed. Was it mostly Saturday night? Sat well, they had at one time before I was uh, old enough to go to dances. They had them on Tuesdays, uh -huh. but then when I got older, they had them on Thursdays and Saturday. Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. went there whenever you could. Yeah, I generally went on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Was did you ever go to Strawbridge for an event? I went to Strawbridge to a Halloween party one time. One of the guys, boys, asked me to go out with them, you know, to mm -hmm. the party. That was the only time I was ever out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was nice, you know. They had it for the boys. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice guys. A lot of nice guys from Strawbridge. Like me. Were you from Strawbridge? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me, uh, me you Strawbridge. never know. You never know. <laughs> Where did your grandparents live? My mother's mother and father lived on Old Washington Road. Okay. The farm is still there. Uh-huh. What about um, the people who lived on Linton Road? 
Mm-hmm. No, they didn't live on Linton Road. Okay. It's the farm above Linton okay. Road on the right. Okay. And that farm. Two hundred and eighty-two was... acres. Uh-huh. To the house. I don't know if you know Bosselow Road or not. Mm-hmm. The house is way, way back. Okay. Yeah. I'd have to go by and check uh-huh. the house in. Oh, I got a picture of it. Okay. Uh-huh. That shows. Yeah. Did you get to visit the farm very often yes. as a child? Yes. Yes. I liked it over there. Really did. Did you have chores when you were there, or? Well, I uh, fed the chickens and, uh, <laughs> you know, got, got the eggs and all that. You oh. know, when I was a kid. Did your grandmother make special things for you kids when you got there? Everything, fudge, donuts. Mm-hmm. I remember I ate so many donuts, I got sick. <laughs> and then I remember my mother drove the tractor. Oh yeah. And Daryl and I sit and planted worm seed. You know the oh. old the old thing with the water would come down and then you put a plant and then it would be the next time uh-huh. it would be my turn to put a plant, you know what I mean? Yeah. We planted worm seed. Uh-huh. Over there. When you harvested the worm seed, where did you take it? I don't know. I don't know that much about that. I don't know that much about the worm seed. But my father was in worm seed at one time. Mm-hmm. I think he had a uh like down here on the corner. See he owned all this uh 22 lots in here. In this Eldersburg area? Right here. Right here. Where we well, are see, now. it's part of the Lawson 19 mm-hmm. acres. And he had 22 lots in here. Someone told me he had a factory. I don't know, was it a tomato factory or worm seeds still down here in the bottom? Hmm. On here on Liberty Road. I, I don't remember. Vaguely, I remember the old building there, but I, I, don't, I don't remember the uh, tomato factory or anything like that. No. He sold these lots for three hundred dollars. <laughs> Front lots five hundred. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, times change. Uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Mm-hmm. See, so, there were lots of other changes be- along Liberty Road. Yes. What about down in Freedom? Do you remember any of the old buildings that are? I remember Miss Linton had a store, which is still mm-hmm. there. That building is still that there. That building right? is still there. I think it's two apartments now. Mm-hmm. And Ruth, her daughter, lives mm-hmm. in the next house. You know Ruth? No. You don't know Ruth? Yeah. And then later on, Wills had to meet. Right. Meet. Right. There. And uh, the uh, Methodist Parsonage was in Freedom, oh, which is still there, okay. next to Wills. Okay. Next to the Wills. Okay. That was a schoolhouse at one time. There is a schoolhouse. There, yes. yes. That was Wills. Okay. And Fred just passed away last week. Ah. Uh-huh. Remember, he came to the reunion. Yes. Fritz yes. Wills. Yes. yes. Eighty-seven, he was. Other than that, that was freedom, you know. Yeah, so freedom hasn't changed. No, so it hasn't changed that But as you go on down south on Liberty Road, um, down toward Carrolltown and that way. Oh, Carrolltown. Well, well, you know. You farms, remember? farms. How about, do you remember a uh, little store? Fred so? Neal. Fred mm-hmm. Neal had a store on the left mm-hmm. that I remember. What kind of store? Grocery. Grocery, Grocery store. store. And at one time, on the other side, Anne Rose's father had a bar. Mm-hmm. On this side, I'm, I'm visualizing in my uh, head. Mm-hmm. That's, that's good. That's <laughs> following along. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> following along. I'm, I'm visualizing in my head. And then further down, to where you get to McDonald's, was a school. Right. Slacks. 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 Yes. Slacks. And then, over on this it was all fields, you know, where Carrolltown Mall is was all field. And then we get to Rook Shop. Uh-huh. Brother. Uh-huh. Down. It's Smith's now. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Down past where it used to be Pizza Hut. Okay. But yeah, then it's uh, the, the tire store. No, the t- no, no, it's it's this it's the school slacks, Oklahoma Road. Uh-huh. And then there's a couple houses, and then there was um, the garage, Rook's okay. garage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then a couple houses down, Gurney Leatherwood uh-huh. had a little garage in the back of his house. Lots of little garages. Like little there. garage. Uh-huh. You know, no big garage, just uh-huh. little, little garage. I remember going down there with my father. And then uh, over on where Risley Park is mm-hmm. was Helen Louise. Gaither's mm-hmm. home. Uh-huh. 
Okay. You know that? Uh, yes. You know that? I know that. I know that. <laughs> That's called Risley Park. Uh -huh. Now we're getting on down further to um, Chevette's. Chevette's Corner. Now down to Chevette's Corner. Did you ever go into the tea room? Down no, there? I didn't know that till George told up to the uh, spaghetti dinner. Uh -huh. I never knew. Never knew. Yeah. No, but you knew. remember going on down further on the way to Baltimore? You well, I rode the bus. I rode the bus to Baltimore. And you remember? I Lucky rode past there. Yeah. <clears throat> rode past there. And but I was never, never there. There. I was never Do there. You remember hearing about Lucky Duck? I Inn? I heard about Lucky Duck, but I was never there. Nope. They served ice cream or beer or I don't know, but, but I that's... don't even know who owned it. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, there were different owners <clears throat> over the Was time. It? Yeah, I'm not sure of the names, but I do know the Scott Farm mm -hmm. was before Was before you, before get to you it. got to. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then once you passed that, you were into Baltimore. Yeah, and you were in Baltimore County. Yeah, but it sat down in the hollow. In the area that's close. Yeah, and then I remember going up that road. There was a house that along the edge. I, I kept wondering, you know, what what keeps it from falling. <laughs> you know, as a kid, you know, when you think of it, what keep why is that so close to the, you know? And then over here was a great big double story White House. I don't know who lived there, but I remember that. I remember that. You were riding the bus. I was riding the bus. I rode the bus mm -hmm. to to where to. to uh, Greyhound okay. Terminal. To go down to mm -hmm. Baltimore. Yeah, I worked at Woolworths. You worked at Woolworths. When was that? 48. 1948. Made 54 cents an hour. How long did you work there? Two years. Two years. And then you came to Springfield? A you? bus ticket from Eldersburg to Harrod Street was $2.65 for 10 trips. 26 <laughs> cents down, 26 cents back. <laughs> I remember that old Howard Street in the Woolworths. Do you? Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I do too. Yes. I worked there two years. <clears throat> got married. Uh huh. And then I had uh, Robin in '51. I got married in '50. Had uh -huh. Robin in '50. Then I didn't work for eleven years. Uh huh. Didn't work. Uh -huh. Didn't work for eleven years. I've lived here twice. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> I moved here with my mother and father in uh -huh. 1954. And then as I had two children, and uh, we was thinking, you know, he, he started, he built this house in 47, and he was seven years building it. Mm -hmm. And we moved here in 54 from up Melvisburg. And in the meantime, he started working on this house down here. So I said, Daddy, sell, sell me that little house. And he was getting up in age at that time. And he said, I'll do better now. He said, I'll sell you the big house. Mm -hmm. So I bought it. He sold his house to me for $2,000. <laughs> well, it didn't look like this, but it was $2,000, you know. Times yeah. changed. Times. Mm -hmm. yeah. The windows, well, some of these doors in here are from his, he had a hotel in Westminster on Court and Main Street. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh, what, what years did he have a... Uh, he tore down... Um, was called Standard Oil or Amico. I forget which it's called. Maybe they're both the same thing. I really don't know. He sold, he leased it to Amico in 1941 mm -hmm. and tore it down. What, was that the great big old hotel? It was hotel. a hotel. Right there in what? On that, Court that, and Main. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you were mean. Across from the historic yes. side. Mm -hmm. And so he owned that. He owned all. that. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. And he moved all the windows and the doors and the flooring and built this house. And he used this? He used it. He used the windows. Not These aren't the windows, but he used all that. The floors upstairs were that wood. Mm -hmm. My bathroom door and bedroom door are out of there. Oh, that's very out, interesting. Out of that hotel. I didn't mm -hmm. realize any of that had mm -hmm. been saved. And there's a steel beam across this house from out of there. Made use of everything. So, about what year did he demolish the... 41. 41. Mm -hmm. And so then he... They le he leased it yeah. to them. And uh, I think it was 61. 1960 or 61, I think they bought it. Mm -hmm. That was in the contract. But they took the building down. Or the building no, he took the building down. He took okay. the building down. And uh, 
they leased that from him for $85 a month. <laughs> Did you ever go to Cocky's Tavern? Or no, no, Hoffman's? no, never went to Cocky's, no. no. Never went there. No. Did you get into the old hotel much as a child? No, I was only 11. Yeah, you were I was only 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I never, I never went into the uh, apartments. He had apartments in there. Uh -huh. Uh, I never. I said I was only 11 years old, yeah. but I remember it. Uh -huh. We'd go to Westminster every Saturday night. Uh -huh. You know, go to Western movies up there at the uh, old State Theater, watch Cowboys. <laughs> I thought when the when the wagon went off the edge, they were dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to go back the next Saturday night to see if they lived. <laughs> Did your, your grandmother from South Dakota tell you cowboy stories? No, no, she never uh, she never talked too much about it. She didn't talk about her family but, out, uh, out in South Dakota? Well, since you mentioned that, I was 16 at the time, and uh, my father and Daryl and the boys made, um, made arrangements for her to go to the reunion uh -huh. of her family. Okay. She was... She was 79, I was 16, and we left out of Baltimore Airport on the American uh -huh. airline and flew to Brooklyn, South Dakota. We went to Chicago, and then we went on a local. A local! <laughs> oh my kidding. gosh, I thought we'd never get where we were going. Not bad. <laughs> so the family was supposed to meet us in Brookings where we got off the train, it was looking for an elderly woman and a young girl. We never, we never did, never did find, they never did find us. So we got a cab back to Bruce, Bruce, South Dakota. Little town. Where her, it was five sisters and a brother. One came from uh, Weezer, Idaho. Minnie. Another one came from Spokane, Washington. Uh, Minnie. And then Nicolina. That was the one. Came from uh, Weezer, Idaho. And then Sophia and Idy lived in South Dakota. There were 14 of them. Oh my goodness. At one time. 14 of them. And uh, the Travers came through knocking on the door were to stay all night and they mm -hmm. took them in. What they didn't know that they were carriers. Uh -huh. What fever? Diphtheria. Probably. Diphtheria. Within a week they lost Nicolina and Joseph. When the next daughter was born it was Nicolina. When the next boy was born it was Joseph. Yeah. Two Nicolinas. Use two the names again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we had a reunion in uh, Sioux Falls. We went into Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was really nice. So you got to meet a lot of cousins. Got them up to meet a lot. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know each other. Not bad. The sisters didn't know one from didn't, the other. Didn't recognize mm -hmm. one another. I got their pictures here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that was an interesting yeah, experience. Yeah, I got their pictures here. Traveling with your grandmother mm -hmm. such a long distance. So when I got married and time went by and time went by, we bought a camper. <clears throat> My husband said we're going back to South Dakota. <laughs> so we left here on a Friday night about 6 o'clock. And 9 o'clock Sunday, we were sitting in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so we stayed there. And then we had a wrap, you know, panned out for two weeks. Well, we, had, we was going two weeks, but we generally got back here in about 12 days. So her great, I oh know my grandmother's nephew was a president of the Brookings Bank. So I go in Brookings Bank, go up to the counter, and he said, may I help you? I said, I'm from Maryland. <laughs> he said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So he knew you were related. He didn't know who it was, but he knew I was related to him somehow. <laughs> so then we, we had dinner with them that night, uh -huh. him and his family. And then we went on to uh, 
where we go, the Canyon and the Badlands, Mount Rushmore, mm -hmm. Crazy Horse, Devil's Tower. Yeah. We went out. Beautiful, beautiful. That was our trip out there. We went out a couple times. So you got to see some of those oh, yeah. relatives, oh, yeah. relatives a couple of times, yeah, mm -hmm. and connect with them. If you ever want to see something, you should try to make that trip. It's right. Absolutely. Have. have you made it? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, the Black Hills and yeah. Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Down in Nebraska. Crazy horse. I don't think they ever finished it, or did they finish it? Uh, it wasn't the last time. No, it wasn't, no. Did, so. See, my husband passed away in 82, uh -huh. and we last week camp was 80. Oh, okay. That's the last time we, he could make the trip. Yeah. So, so, so that was an exciting trip. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How about back here in Eldersburg? Do you, you have three children? Four two, children? two. Two children. Two children. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have grandchildren? I have three girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Um, <coughs> They all, they live nearby. They live in Woodbine, mm -hmm. and then one lives in Taylorsville. Okay. Yeah. So you have family close by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And you remember Dr. Lawson? Yes. And, and you remember Dr. Lawson's house? Yes. Was it a log house? Do you know? No, it's that house right there mm -hmm. I showed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandmother built house. that in 1923. So the house was built in 1923. Mm -hmm. Prior to 23, was that just an open Don't area? know. Mm -hmm. Don't know. 23. <laughs> you know, so that house. Don't know. So it was built in 1923. Did it have, uh, in the picture, there's some outbuildings. Did it have a barn that you I remember? I don't know. I Do don't you remember. No. Orchard? No. How about Holy Trinity Cemetery? The only thing I remember there. going into Dr. Lawson's is those great big trees. Mm -hmm. You remember those big trees that went up into his driveway? Around and around. Well, see, later on, when he first opened, his living room was mm -hmm. his waiting room. Right. And then later on, he built on in okay. the back, and then he went in the back uh -huh. to his, uh, yeah. yeah. He had an office area. He had an office in the back there, because I used to take my boy. Well, Robin, he's 58 years old, and he was a baby. He, he I took him up there. I knew Mrs. Lawson, Billy and uh, Marcella. He had two children, Billy and Marcella. But other than that, other than the house, I just don't know. Yeah, there was, you don't remember a, a barn or orchard no, or anything in the back? No, no. How about Holy Trinity Cemetery? You, know, you played up there, you said it's a I didn't know it was that much property to Dr. Lawson's place mm -hmm. until Hubert, you know, up there where the graveyard is it's and all that down. I didn't know it went back that far. Okay. You know, yeah. I didn't know it was that a lot much. of trees. There, yeah, so I didn't know it was that much property in the back. Right. No, yeah. I didn't know that. And how about the cemetery? Well, the only thing I knew about the cemetery, the, the roof was caving in, mm -hmm. and we were scared to go in there. I do know that. Okay. But we'd go up there and play, you know, but we were scared to go inside. Were there a lot of gravestones there? Yes, yes. Yeah. More old, than old gates and fences all falling down, you know. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, I don't, I know it was falling down, and we were scared to go in there. Mm -hmm. I can see, still see it, the roof all caved in, you know, visually, I can see that. Mm -hmm. you know. It was a stone building sort of stucco? Yeah, stucco. On the outside? Yes, yes. When the roof was caving in? Yes, yeah. And the, it sort of sat at an angle, did it? I just, you know, I, I was young, you know, I just don't know. As a kid, I said, we just up there. Old weeds and everything, you know, we afraid of snakes and everything, you know, but we still went anyway, you know. <laughs> we went up there one night, somebody took me up there one night, was it called a scavenger hunt, is that what it's called? And set me up there and left me. How old were you? <laughs> Not smart enough to know what was going on. <laughs> Scared? Yeah, 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 in a way. But you were close to home. Oh yeah, as I say, not smart enough to what was going on. Everybody, everybody in the neighborhood probably knew all yeah, the neighborhood they knew. kids. Yeah, yeah. So, so just sit here a while. Yeah, you'll, you'll be coming pretty soon. You know what I mean? You'll see it pretty soon. <laughs> oh God. What? Um, are there other things about Eldersburg that you'd like for people to know and remember? Well, I don't. It was, it's a, it was a nice community. You know, everybody was friendly and nice, and just 
we just played together and you know like we didn't know really what you know as you were a child the, the roads were were not dirt roads no, anymore. no they were paved they were paved yeah they were, but, but they were dirt roads at one time right but I don't know I don't know what year that was mm -hmm. you know I know in 36 that's, that's, a, that's all I know you know mm -hmm. <clears throat> that day was uh, paved but um, as I say it was just a nice little friendly community we played cowboys and Indians, you know, and sleigh ride, and, you know. Where did you, where'd you go sleigh riding? Over on this hill, right across the road. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. the, the road is deep cut in, so the hill isn't so... The road is still there that goes into the parish farm. Okay. But it's where all those trees are and the houses up there. Uh-huh. And um, one night I couldn't go out. I had homework to do. And uh, that many years ago... When it snowed and and cold, there was a crust. I mean, a crust. And when you put that sled down, <laughs> you flew. I, I said I couldn't go out. So here comes all the kids running up on the porch. Jenny, 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 something's happened. Something's happened. One of the guys, the sled got away from him, and he hit that stone wall over there and killed him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Still there. I wonder what year that was. About how old were <clears> you? <throat> I'd say um, 1942, mm -hmm. 43. I'll go probably 13 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stone wall's still there. Thank goodness for the homework that night, huh? Yeah. He got away from him. How did you get to school? Did you? It's a good little hike down over to Sykesville. We went down to the corner, lines of lunchroom. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it was cold, we went in the lunchroom. Right. But when it was warm, we stayed, we stayed there on that culvert. There was a culvert there. Uh -huh. As you go around, as you go around that right corner there, the there was a culvert and a stream. I don't know whatever happened to that stream. I guess they shut it off. I don't know. But there was a stream that went down back of it. And we'd sit there on that culvert and wait for the bus. Uh -huh. You know, when it was uh -huh. warm. And then in the summertime, nobody had air conditions. So we'd go down there and, and count cars. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get very far, but we counted cars. And, and so it, was, it was hot, yeah. you know. Well, people didn't have air no, conditions. No, they didn't have air conditions. No. You know, the fan, you know, this, this, you know. <laughs> Most people had indoor this, plumbing. Huh? Most yeah. people had indoor plumbing mm -hmm. by that time, but... Well, that many years ago, they changed shades. Did you know that? Yes. Did you uh, know that? Changed the shades <laughs> to winter shades? Yes. What did they look like? The uh, summer shades were green, you know, dark. And then the uh, other shades were light for winter, you know. Mm -hmm. Then people had these things on their porch that rolled up. Uh -huh. You know, when the sun came in, then they roll that thing down. You know what so I mean? Keep the sun out. Uh -huh, keep the sun. Did you have to sleep out on the porch when it was hot? No, no. But I would sleep at the foot of the bed mm -hmm. with Close the window. The window. Sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. And then we had a pump. You know, to pump water on the uh -huh. back porch. Uh huh. There was no bath. Did you have an outside bath? Mm hmm. Toilet. Mm -hmm. A whole row of them up there. Now. <laughs> One house. Mm -hmm. Anne Roses had a bath. Okay. The only bathroom in Eldersburg. Okay. And that just amazed me. <laughs> How about electricity? When did electricity oh, come through? Oh, well, we had electric there then, but up in Gist, we didn't have electricity. Right. So, uh, over on the farm, didn't have, didn't have electricity. I remember Grandma going with that lamp, you know, I'd, I'd sleep with her, mm -hmm. and we'd go up those big old steps over there, and she'd have a lantern. Um, mm -hmm. We call them, yeah, we call it a lantern, but a lamp. I think yeah. some call them lanterns, you know. And we go on up to bed. Hmm. When the fire went out, the fire went out. Right. You know? Couldn't see. The fire went out. It was cold. Mm -hmm. And I remember there were so many covers on the bed you could hardly turn over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you woke up the next morning, we'd go downstairs and make a fire. When, the fire, well for when the fire got going, mm -hmm. you got up. When the fire got going, you come back. Mm -hmm. 
you were it roasting got, on one it side. Got hot. Mm -hmm. Then we push the old rocking chair back. Mm -hmm. Then you get cold. Then we push the rocking chair back. <laughs> and I remember her going to Dr. Martin's, getting ready to go to Dr. Martin's. I'd go upstairs with her. Dr. Martin's office was where? On Liberty Road. Okay. And I remember her putting the curling iron down in the chimney okay. of the lamp uh -huh. and get it hot. And then she clamped the hair, put uh -huh. that curling iron under the hair to make waves. To make waves. Mm -hmm. What you women went through. <laughs> so she would go down to Dr. Martin. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Then he went to a dollar. Uh huh. For <laughs> office call. Yeah, did did he there. ever come around to visit people's homes? I think he did, but I don't know. Who delivered the babies? He delivered babies. So he did come around probably for that. Yeah, but I can't remember him coming to Ellsburg, which I don't know. Dr. Delivered. Lawson delivered babies. So probably mm -hmm. he was closer. Mm -hmm. Dr. Barnes delivered babies in Sykesville. Where, where, oh, he was down in Sykesville. Mm -hmm. Springfield Avenue, mm -hmm. Dr. Barnes. His daughter was in my, I graduated with June, mm -hmm. his daughter. Yeah, June and Lee Barnes were his daughters. But, uh, but I remember Dr. Martin, 50 cents. You know, it's hard to believe. It's a big oh, difference, it's yeah. It's hard to believe. What kind of, uh, did you have a drugstore or pharmacy nearby? Sykesville. Sykesville. Mm -hmm. None in Ellsburg. Uh -huh. No. No. It was just a uh, line. A bit different than today, huh? It was just Lines' lunchroom and uh, Walter Frizzell's store and uh, Conway Garage there on the corner for Walgreens. But then I remember years ago, I think it was 40, 41, my father worked for uh, a man named Kinnaman. He had this garage. Okay. It was mall next to it. It was Molnick's garage. Ed Molnick's built the garage. He passed away. Anyway, a man by the name of Kinnaman bought the uh, garage, and my father worked for him selling gas when it was rationed. Mm -hmm. And in that garage was packed with Studebakers. Yeah. Top and bottom of Studebakers. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You know where the garage I'm talking about yeah, was? I think so. Clements owned it at one time. Yeah. Huh? I've heard of it. That's yeah. where um, the uh, video store up here and the pizza place mm -hmm. and before you get to Burger King yeah. in there. It was. Yeah, just, just a little south of 32. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lunchroom, Randall's lunchroom and then Randall's house. And then Dr. Nars, it was Dr. Nars. Okay. Which I didn't know him, but it was Dr. Nars. And he was a general practitioner? Yes, Dr. Nars. I just happened to think of that. And then the Molnick's garage. Mm -hmm. Let's see, the Dr. Nars house is still there, if I'm not, if I'm not thinking, I'm pretty sure it is. It's been, you know, those changes, you know. Yeah, it was Dr. Nars. And, um, but there was no drugstore. What do you think was the oldest house in the, in the Ellsburg area? Oh, let's see. I don't, you know, I really don't know. There was a house over here called Steel. Mm -hmm. Name was Steel. Mm -hmm. Guy Steel. Right. You know where Somerville is? Yes. In Westminster. Mm -hmm. Guy Steel owned that. Mm -hmm. But then him, he had a couple brothers. One was named Hen, and Hen Steel. And his sister or brother lived across there, mm -hmm. right across the road here. But that was tore down. Parrish built that great, big, beautiful house. They tore that house down. They tore Parrish's my... house was not part of that house. No, no. They tore Parrish's house down. They tore my grandmother's house down. And they tore the Bavard. Right. Beautiful. Bavard. Where your Walmart ever, is. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, mm -hmm. were you ever back to the Bavar farm? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. It was a big. Yes, German war prisoners used to work back there. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid. You remember the German mm -hmm. war prisoners mm -hmm. being back mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. Mr. Bavar mm -hmm. had them there on mm -hmm. the farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember them. 
Mm -hmm. About how many were there? You know, I don't know how many was there. But I know Young they men. Were, I know they were there. Young men? Mm-hmm. 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 How old were you? Nice looking. <laughs> I was that old. I was old, no, enough, old enough to notice, huh? <laughs> All us Germans are good looking. Oh. All us Germans are good looking. Oh! <laughs> I remember that. I couldn't get over tearing these homes down. Yeah, they must have, that really changed over there. Yes, time. yes. Because all the places. I came home from work one day and they were burying Parrish's house over here. Do you remember when they tore down the Holy Trinity Chapel? No. Uh -huh. My father painted Parrish's farm. Oh, did he? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. See, he had a, um, he owned Hamden Storage, you know, in Baltimore. Okay. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. Carpet, Hamden, uh -huh. yeah, Hamden know. Rug and Storage. Storage, they did, they cleaned and, and, and stored rugs. Well, he had two or three warehouses over here, oh. in the back of, of the home. Great big warehouses. Huh. And my father painted that whole farm for uh -huh. him. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A beautiful farm. Yeah. Yeah. So, as I say, they tore, you know, they tore all those homes down. But, um, and then later on we got a store, another store, on 32, which is the Ugly Mug, <laughs> now, was Wolbert's farm, uh, Wolbert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had a hardware and a grocery. Then later on it became Rudnick's, and that's when you probably know of it. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rudnick's. Mm -hmm. Johnny Rudnick. Is that what his name Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, he had a store there, but uh, got there a good while. But other than that, then uh, I'm trying to think of what else. But as I say, you know, then that big building up here on the corner, my cousin owned that. Von Life. <coughs> which building? On the, which corner? Oh, Bartholomew. Okay. Uh -huh. Where Jeff Barnes has all his cars parked. Yes. That was a big, uh, big apartment house up there. And then there was a store under there. At one time, there was a store under there huh. when I was a kid. And then uh, there was apartments upstairs. Richardson, Dan, and Alice lived in one, and uh, Polly and Carol Eli. Mm -hmm. they, Polly Eli. Polly Eli. Carol Ann Rains. And Betty May, or her two children. Mm -hmm. Ring the bell. Yeah. Some of the, some of those names mm -hmm. too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Then there was an old well there. Yes. Tell me about the well. The well. The well has a lot of history to it. Well, Anna Rose and I was sitting at Bob Evans one day, and we looked out the window, and we saw looked across the road. We saw this thing sticking out of the ground. Anna Rose said, "Jenny, I think that's um, I think that's that old well." I said, sure, looks like the well. It looks like a well to me, and I remember being, you know, you had yeah, a and wine, did you know? And uh, and Anne Rose started asking questions. It's not the well. No, it's part of huh? it's part of the water system. Or is that something. what it is? I think so. so. I don't know. It's not the well. But it's in the spot about where the well might have been. Is it? I think so. Okay. I think so. I thought. I That's thought. One it, reason you all would think that it might. Yeah, be the well. I thought it was. And then uh, Raymond Grimes, he, he had a uh, dealt in cattle. You probably heard of him. In the next house, over, which just sits up on the bank up there. And then Kegel, Mr. Kegel, he had Kegel's TV. He started out there. Mm -hmm. And then later on, he went up to the shopping center. Mm -hmm. Bob Kegel and mm -hmm. Buddy Kegel, okay. <coughs> you know them. I know of them. Mm -hmm. I know they were businessmen. In yeah, the yeah, he had to. And Bernie Goodwin, he worked for him about 40 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. Bernie Goodman. Heard of him too. Worked for, him, worked yeah. for Kegel. Yeah. 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 That's where he started out. Up, that, uh, up, up there. A lot of interesting people in, in Elvis. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. A lot, a lot of nice people. I was say a lot of nice people. But um, I just, uh, you know, we talk all day to people, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. So you still see some of your old friends, like Anna Rose Baseman? Yeah, but um, I am and my three cousins, Joanne, and that lives up here on the next to Exxon, are about the only people left. 
that are true that Eldersburg. are truly Eldersburg. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're all gone. Mm -hmm. They're all gone. Some of them say I have three cousins that live there in that brick rancher up on the bank. But that's Bob Randall's nie and, uh, nieces. Mm -hmm. Their mother was Bob's sister, like I showed you mm -hmm. on there. But uh, other than that, elders, uh, they're all gone. Any special memories of Sykesville besides going to the movies? Oh, I remember seeing Happy Johnny down there one night. <laughs> I remember caught on fire one night. Yes. I remember caught on fire up in that old theater. See, we'd, we'd catch Mr. Uh, Gardner when he closed his uh, film station up here at 7 o'clock. We'd ride to Sykesville with him. And where Elder Care is was his home. Oh, okay. And he'd drop us off there. And we'd walk down and go to movies. Huh. So my father would come get us one night, one week, and Gene Conway, Bill's mother, they'd come get us the next mm -hmm. night. But what we'd do, we we wait uh, we wouldn't wait till the movie was over. We'd go up Ken Barnes's where there was a jukebox and look for boys, you know. <laughs> but when 11 o'clock came, we were standing down on Main Street waiting. Where were you supposed to be, huh? Where we were supposed to be, waiting to be picked up. So. How about your visits to Westminster? You went to the movies. Oh, yeah, I went to Westminster. Every Saturday and night we went to Westminster. And you went to the movies. Went to the any movies. other things that you did in Westminster? No. You went up, went, went to Westminster the, with your family? Yes. Anna Rose would go with us sometime, and Jean would go with us sometime. And then we'd win Murphy's, uh -huh. you know, look at uh -huh. the jewelry, you know. And I said, oh, isn't that pretty, isn't that pretty? And i buy this ring, you know. What else do you remember about, about three Murphy's? days later, my ring finger was green. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember, would you, what else do you remember about Murphy's? Do you remember the, 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 the change going back? That was pennies. That was pennies? That was pennies. Okay. I'm not sure which yeah, one. Yeah, it was pennies. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember that. So you went to Penny's once in a yeah. while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went How to about Mathers? Went, I went to Penny's. They, they put it in the thing, you know, and they pull this chain, and it would go up to the balcony, uh -huh. the money. Then the chains would come back down right. Right. in that little yeah. brown thing, you know. Yeah. They put a little the, container. Yeah, a little container. They put the top on. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, Harry's lunch. The first Harry's lunch was next to there, too, on Main Street. Next, yeah, to the, next to the State Theater, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go there sometimes? Oh, yeah, I went there. What about Mathers? I've been to Mathers? Mathers and Kaufman and Fishers uh -huh. and um, Rosenstocks. Uh -huh. They were there. And uh, when I first got out of school, I, I went to work at the uh, sewing factory there on Main Street, oh, the right. old opera house. Uh -huh. That was a hard job. Well, they put me on sewing flies mm -hmm. in men's pants. Mm -hmm. In the middle of June, <laughs> these wool wool pants. Yeah, I it got so hot I couldn't stand it in there. So anyway, my girlfriend and I we left there. So I went to the shoe factory uh -huh. and got a job. I worked there a year. Where was the shoe factory? Right there on Green and Main, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. across from Maggie's. Mm -hmm. Maggie's. Mm -hmm. Right across from Maggie's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they closed down for two weeks for vacation, so I said, I'm, i got to get out of here. So I went in town and got me a job at Woolworths. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they worked there for two, over two years. Yeah. I can still see the bell ringing, you know, the Salvation Army mm -hmm. snowing, you know. Mm -hmm. I had the first ten uh, seats. Mm -hmm. Of the counter. Of the counter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was down front. And then I remember, I often wondered what happened to the Laughing Santa Claus. The Laughing Santa Did you Claus? ever see the Laughing Santa Claus? No, I didn't. Not me either. Hoshels. Hoshels or Hutzlers. I believe it was Hoshels up Lexington Street. Mm. May Company was here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was over here on the corner, and they had this laughing Santa Claus. You go ho 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 like this I, in the window. I think I do remember. And then later on, they added Mrs. Santa Claus. Yeah. 
Wonder what ever happened to them. I don't know, but all those windows in those department stores were all decorated at Christmas time. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. And then Leon Levy's was next, mm -hmm. the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, was that something. Mm -hmm. That was something. Something to go in and look oh, around. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was, it was nice. And then when I got off on um, Thursday night, I had to work till 8.30, and I wasn't married then. Tommy, he'd come in and pick me up. Then we'd go up to the Hippodrome. Mm -hmm. Spent many a day there. The Hippodrome. We'd go there. And I'm glad they renovated the Hippodrome, you know. And then Lexington Market's there, that was nice to go through. But then it was Bragger, Eisenberg's, yeah. Gutman's. Mm -hmm. Lots of Interesting department stores. Grants, I can name them right off. It was Stewart's, mm -hmm. Grants, and Castleburg's, and Ann Lewis, Kresge, Gutman's, right on up Main. You know. You just see them right now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> McCrory's, uh -huh. Reed's on the corner. Reed's. Reed's. And then you go down further, it's the gas electric. Uh huh. Okay. And then. Up on this side was the Century and Valencia theaters, yeah. uh -huh. you know, going up towards Charles Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Gutman's used to have a dollar day. Oh. You, a woman got her arm broke in there. She'd come in the store. <laughs> She'd been to the dollar days. They had her arm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a bargain. Well, get a bargain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were something. A cup of coffee was five cents. How long did it take you to get from out here into Baltimore? I bus? caught the bus at 20 after 7 and got home 20 after 6. Mm -hmm. I had to stand up most of the way, you know, jerking, 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 stomping. Guys wouldn't give you a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about an hour ride in, wasn't it? 45 minutes. 45 minutes mm -hmm. an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we picked up we picked up a bunch of girls at Ward's Chapel and you know on down. You yeah, know. a lot of women rode the bus yeah. right now. Uh -huh. What about in bad weather? Still rode the bus. The bus still went. Still went. Yeah, and then there was another bus came from Frederick. Okay. And um, that was later. If if I missed the bus at twenty after five, I could catch one at quarter six. Mm -hmm. You know, two of them coming out of there. But I would have to go upstairs and change my clothes from the uniform to my street clothes at 5 o'clock I got off to go up Harrod Street to catch that bus at 25 after 5. You didn't have much time. Didn't have much time. It was moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the bus would be full when I got there. Because <laughs> yeah, right. you couldn't get there earlier. I couldn't get there earlier. Uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. But... Uh, Hey, those, those were the what you call the good old days. When you worked at Springfield, did you did you work long hours like that? No, no, no. more of an eight-hour day. Seven, seven, three thirty. Mm -hmm. Seven, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went there in nineteen sixty-two. Was it kind of at maximum capacity during those years? Well, there was thirty-two hundred patients there then. Okay. Nice, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice to work. Best move I ever made. Yeah, close yeah. to home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good benefits. Good benefit. Good yes. benefits. Good salary probably good. compared to. Yeah. Yeah, the, ben the benefits were better than the salary. But, you know, it was nice. It was a place to be best, best move I ever made, you know, for pension and mm -hmm. everything, you sure. know, for benefits. Yeah, and I'm sure you knew lots of the people that worked oh, there. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin called me the reporter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost out of tape on this, okay. but I'm going to have yeah, to change yeah. tape. Okay. we got we another stop. one. It can only take 30 seconds. Uh, well, and, uh, I wasn't sure where you were. I'm and maybe what we can do when we come get back some of these pictures. is continue with some of these pictures, and I'll try to zoom in on the okay. pictures. I know they got some of those photographs from down at the Gay House Museum, but now I don't know I've where they got, got it. I've got to go over there. 
up and over to, there. Talk to Carrie about that. We can't figure out I, how, I how or who got that picture. It's as you come in the door, yeah, uh -huh. right down at McDonald's, mm -hmm. right down the road here. Mm -hmm. They've got really nice photographs. On and the she's wall. standing on Liberty Road. That the original Liberty Road. She's standing on. Is the, that what she's standing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've got these old pictures, and they've got some up here at Bob Evans too. Yes, yes, some nice old pictures. Yes, and I think the person who was sub, you know, took care of that contract with McDonald got them from down to Gatehouse, but that's all I know. You know how the Gatehouse got them? They we have tried them. and tried. Hmm. Find you out. took that picture. I took that. And you still have your original. Picture. I took that picture. Was an old one. Is it called a 120 brownie mm -hmm. little box? Okay. <clears throat> took nice pictures. Mm -hmm. I got loads of pictures taken with that little camera. You know, you film the thing, and then you look in the black and white. You know what I mean? And you click, click. You know? <laughs> Huh? The black and white that they yeah. stand up really well. Yeah, they the hold up the well. Next, huh? Then you have to wind it up to the next one. Then you close it up and then you look in a little square, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get you in that little square. And then you go click click. And yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good pictures, yeah. Robin, my son, his wife, so she collects everything. Which is good. She's got that camera. I didn't know where it was. <laughs> oh well, it's good that somebody I, said I, it I lost track of it, you know what I mean? Over the years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was in my father's desk. Huh. Down here, I give him the furniture out there. He was the antique collector. Uh -huh. Daddy was. Oh, was he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, I was in that things. desk. Yeah, yeah. A lot of different things. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I got a sewing machine here that yeah. my grandmother gave me. It's a singer. <laughs> but it still works. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they never stop mm -hmm. working on the thing. All right. Uh, what pictures do you want, John? Just whatever. You know, we can start just, with that one, and if you okay. can, and just tell her if uh, you can kind of hold it up, and I can zoom in on it. Then yeah, you can just get out of the way. Or no, you, uh, you, you hold it up. Yeah, you can sit back oh, okay. there. Just, yeah, just, just sit hold there, it hold it up, okay. right okay. in front of you, and I'll pass, without I'll pass you another one. You don't have to hide. <laughs> <laughs> She's being very mischievous. Okay, now tell me something about that picture. Don't know anything about that picture. But you know this is... I know it's the Lucky Duck Inn. Okay. I know that. And it was okay. down under what is now Liberty. It's underwater. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what Maybe some another. of the other... I love to who they are on the back. These are the... Now let's take a look. You want to hold that up? I'd love to know who they are. This we know is Sucksville School. You don't know what year. But we're unsure of the year, and it's before the second floor was put on. Um, so the year was sort of guessed at by the clothing the children are wearing. But we don't can't identify any yeah. of the people. So if anyone knows. Okay. Isn't that something? I'd love to know who that slacks uh, up there to Bob Evans. It's nine, 1901, so, you know, it, it's going to be hard to find somebody. Okay, this uh, is a pic picture from your collection, if you want to tell us a little bit about the, the house. Well, my grandmother built this in 1923. And, and her name was Annie, Annie M. Harris. And the gentleman standing. This is my father, Herman. Okay. And it was originally sold to Dr. Lawson. And about what year did Dr. Lawson get the house? Roughly. Okay. I don't know. No, that's okay. Did you know. ever sleep there? No. No? <laughs> no. I say I was, it was Dr. Law in 1930. I was when I was born. That's all I know, you know. <clears throat> okay. Tell us about this interesting picture. And this is, yeah. This is um, no. my grandfather, William it, Harris. Turn it back to get the light. Yeah, that's better. And that's grandmother, it. Annie. My father, Herman. 
my uncle Bill, Daryl, and James, 1911. And this, the occasion for this picture was that, that's the Badlands. They coming were, across the Badlands. They were leaving there. Mm -hmm. And they traveled in this wagon uh -huh. all the way across. I the don't country. know how far they came, but they came across. You see the hats on on the horses. Yes. You see the hats. <laughs> One more. This is twenty six and thirty two. What's that? Nineteen here in Aldersburg. I'm trying to think what year. And about what year? What what year car would you say that is? You're asking a four one for cars. It's probably a nineteen twenty something. Twenty nine. Uh, maybe earlier than that. Oh, uh, that. There's there's the year. If you've got uh, some eyes that can see that year. But it is the tell us which building and, and this is uh, the, the original <coughs> Randall's. This is Randall's lunchroom, right? And, and it later became Lyons, Den Dennis Denny Lyons' lunchroom originally. And the people in the picture. This is Ted Randall, Bob Randall, Dorothy Harris, Marie Conway. And Mr. Harry Myers. And the dog. And this is Teddy. I remember Teddy. You do? Uh huh. Vaguely. Yeah, angle the picture back towards you and into. Vaguely. I remember a Teddy. Bit more. Back to, yeah, like, I, that's perfect. That's perfect, thank you. Look at the watering can. Look at the watering can for lots water. Of, yeah, to lots put, of to in, put your in, in your uh, radiator. Yeah. Did you go here often for mm -hmm. yeah as kids you know yeah. jukebox jukebox oh, oh, when they got the jukebox oh when they got the jukebox that was something else now <laughs> <laughs> you mean technology was important then yeah. too wasn't it I think it was a nickel uh -huh. nickel okay yeah do you have some other pictures you'd like to share with us. Well, I have other pictures upstairs. You had some, a couple. Nice of, you had a couple in your album that uh, were a little You're bit welcome. different. You're Let's take a look. Uh, you got the wire. <laughs> oh, I was, was going to get it. No, that's okay. Um, there were a couple here that I thought were special. My mother and grandfather. And their names. Grimes. Were, these are the Grimes ancestors. And this picture was taken at the Grimes farm. Uh huh. Suspect. On on Old Washington Road. Uh, yeah. Like, like that. Yeah. See, when I'm looking at it from here. Yeah. Let's see. I think that takes. I could even take this one out, John. Yeah, that's okay like that. <laughs> this is the other one. I'm gonna take this. There's the. Uh, and the hell was that? I bet it's well over a hundred. That is adorable. A child's a sewing machine. Just like that would be fine. Okay. We give an estimate around 49 or 50. And, and it is Lyons Lunch Room? Yeah, there was a carry out then, uh -huh. that many years ago, but this is Lyons' Lunch Room on that corner. See, it used to be over here, okay. uh, that picture. Right. See? It would be on the other yeah, side. Yeah. <clears throat> this is Gardner's. George Gardner and Dick uh -huh. run this filling station. And how about there's a uh, one of there's a man in the back. I uh, know. I don't know who it is. You're not sure who it no. is. No. If I'm not mistaken, is that a fifty-something car? 
I would say that's about a 54. That's 26 and 32. This is 26 right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the carryout wasn't there then. The carryout later went there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then tell us about the people in this picture. <clears throat> this is my grandmother and grandfather, William and Annie Harris, with their four sons, Bill. Daryl, Herman, and James. Now they're in a tent, which, so you're thinking they were on their way across yes. the country? Mm -hmm. They're eating. Uh, there's a coffee pot, you know. It's food in the dishes. I wonder what it is. I think that's something. It looks like all tin dishes, mm -hmm. like camping mm -hmm. kinds of equipment. And so he came, they came east because. Of health. His health, ill health. Yeah. yeah, he has black lung, black lung. Yes, something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. He's um, buried right. They're buried up here. Okay, up here at um, Old Freedom. Old Freedom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, had he been a smoker, or had he been exposed to the? No. And about what year did he die? I think he passed away when my father was eight. Okay, so he died. My father was born in. Uh, Nine eight eighteen ninety eight. 1898. So, it wasn't long after this photo yeah. he died. Yeah. And Annie? She died in 1965. <coughs> so she, she lived born. a long she time. Born. She was born in 1865. And died, died in 1964. So she saw a lot of changes mm -hmm. in her life. She mm -hmm. must have been an interesting woman. Oh, uh, the Sun her. paper or, or news post, I forget which it was came to interview her uh -huh. up in Eldersburg, up to Darrell's. There was a woman who had come across the country, mm -hmm. the wagon, yeah. and raised a family right. right here. They said she got mad at her father. She got mad at her father. <laughs> okay. So I don't know, I just what I hear, you know what I mean? She was something else. She was something. Annie Matilda. Annie Matilda. Oh, yes, I did see pet milk here. If I'm not mistaken. Is that pet milk? Yep, it is. P E T. I can see it too. <laughs> yep, so it's a very hard to see, but it is definitely a can of pet milk. Isn't there. that something? With the coffee pot, the metal dishes. Um, the dishes do have food in them. Um, Cups for water or milk for the children, it looks like. She educated all those boys. Well, the one, a horse, a horse kicked him, mm -hmm. James, and killed him. Okay. Young, young, young. But she educated the, all these boys. Daryl was an artist at Maryland Institute of Art. Wow. And one of his girls, Joanne, up there in the house, is, went to the same school. And uh, my father went to Rock Hill uh -huh. College in Elka City. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know. Up on that school. Way, way up. On a hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bill, he was in music. She educated him. So, so they were talented. Yeah, yeah. She, she raised what them. What kind? What was she like? Nice. Nicest. Did she have nicest, artistic talent? Nicest around? person you ever. I just loved her. Did she have artistic talent of her own? Mm -hmm. Did she draw? Or no. Love cook. Music? cook. 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 How about him? Do you know? Don't him? know. Had other other talents. Don't know. Died too soon. Don't know. They're all buried up here at Wesley. Old West on the old church. Huh. The old graveyard. All right. I didn't know James. Never got to meet James. Mm -hmm. Where did the accident happen? Don't Where? know. Out west, I mean, out in Dakota. I don't know. It looks like he made the trip. I east. know, I know. <clears throat> now let me see. My my mother had a brother. One was kicked by a horse, and the other died of something. So he may have died of something else, and Herbert may have been kicked by a horse. I just don't know which one of them was. Yeah. 
Well, it's easy to get those mixed up. Yeah. You don't know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh -huh. We um, very much enjoyed our visit with you today. I'm trying to think how much he got for an acre. 2,200 acres. Out in North South Dakota. Does a nickel sound, nickel don't sound right, does it? It could be out there at that I time. I think so. It wasn't much. Well, I think a nickel. I think I heard him say. Enough to get him back here, and that's about it. Well, he, he must have. Maybe she not. educated all the boys and brought, bought property, you know what I mean? So maybe so enough to make maybe, a yeah. life here for mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, look, they were all dressed nice, you know yeah. what I mean, and everything. Okay. And even the mules, I'll say, had hats on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you again. Right. Well, welcome. Any more questions? I'm glad to answer them. Well, well, thank you very much. We really right, enjoyed welcome. this, both of us have. Yeah. We'll wrap this all up.